Welcome to borderless Britain. As our government continues to struggle to protect our borders, the ONS confirms that net migration into the UK has finally exceeded over half a million people. Hello everybody, welcome to the UK's most watched political show on the internet. We're going to come to you guys every half an hour with a number of uh, quite dark updates actually. And I'm trying, I'm going to try and not just do doom and gloom. We're going to try and find some positive stories as well from UK politics and the whole of the culture in general. But this is about the latest official data that we have from the ONS, the official uh, Office of National statistics now we have the crisis of the small boats in english channel and we still have the lorries happening and we have various other routes there where people use to illegally enter the country and then on top of that you've got legal mass migration which has resulted in the owners confirming that net migration uh, which is continuing to add to the population and, and, and to up to the uh, well the june 2020, 2020 2022 with an estimated 504,000 more people arriving long term to the UK than uh, departing. Now, the net migration figures takes it to a whole new level because you've got the non-EU nationals, then you've got the actual EU nationals, then you've got various other groups. When you look at the actual stats, the contribution to this factor is uh, a lot of the Ukrainians who have been allowed to come here, Afghans, and of course the uh, Hong Kong residents, but on top of that, migration from non-EU countries, especially students, is driving this rise. Now, the issue with this, those who say, well, you can't include the students in this figure, there are a number of problems with it. One, uh, students who have been able to stay longer than they were supposed to be uh, are also bringing in their relatives and families. Uh, some of them are getting lost in the system. And some of them then somehow claim asylum afterwards. I'm not really sure why. And uh, so everyone's playing the system. So you have to include all those numbers. And you have to talk about the legal migration. But you also have to talk about the legal mass migration. This country has gone too far in terms of generosity. It, this is not really a rant about being completely anti-migration. This is about the fact that we've, we've been too generous for too long. Now we have to look after our own people first. Now we have to make sure that we need to get rid of people who are not supposed to be here, go negative migration, uh, until we actually sort out our mess. This is the reaction we have uh, from Nigel Farage on this issue. Let's go to Nigel. Wait for it. This is hard to believe. The Conservatives have been in power for 12 years. They promised us that election after election, they get net migration down to, remember, tens of thousands a year. Then we have Brexit taking back control of our borders. And in 2019, they got a massive majority from people thinking they'd reduce net migration. Well, the figures are out just a few minutes ago. Net migration in the last year is nearly double, nearly double the all-time high. It's half a million. So if you want a GP appointment, forget it. You want your kids to get a house, forget it. You want to drive around the country on a Friday to go somewhere. Forget it. The roads will be full and they'll all be dangerous, smart motorways. Mass immigration into Britain running at record levels, diminishing the quality of our lives and the integrity of our communities. This party is a disgrace. Nigel Farage is absolutely spot on. We're going to actually have more updates from uh, Nigel later today on the show. But let's take a quick break. Uh, half an hour, I'm going to come back. We're going to talk, talk to you guys about the fall of uh, the Metropolitan Police Leadership and Authority. It's an absolute mess right now, the whole situation with the British police. Make sure to subscribe to the channel on Maya2C and we are the media.